I've been really fortunate in my life to be around since day one, uh, one of the most iconic instruments ever made in the modern era, and that's the Stingray. To have had the opportunity to buy the company in 1984 and really recognize that we were the stewards of this design. So many things had come along that we knew we could do to, to optimize the bass and, and actually modernize the bass. We sat down and said, if we were designing the Stingray bass today, what would it look like? What would it feel like? And what would it sound like? We kept everything that's familiar to you, from the, the oval pick guard to the, to the basic shape, the ability to get the, the big bass and the big treble. What we wanted to do, number one, is revoice it. In order to revoice the bass, we were able to revoice the preamp so where we didn't take anything away from you, but we added a lot of classic sounds. And we did that by choosing neodymium magnets that are driven by 18 volts. 18 volts give you more headroom. What headroom is, is power. Headroom is the fundamental still gonna be there. The treble's not so harsh, the mid-range is reset, and we've really dialed in the bass frequencies that we think you use the most. We can make this sound like any vintage bass you've ever heard, but give you all the benefits of an active bass. We experimented with a lot of woods, and our favorite is still ultralight swamp ash. On the next side, we're taking a maple neck and we're using roasted maple. The resins in the wood are hardened and it gives you that beautiful color, but I also think it's just a more solid sounding and feeling neck. We went from 21 frets to 22 frets. But in order to do that, we realized we needed to reshape the contour of the neck joint. We were able to play with some contours that are really not that noticeable, but they are when you're holding it. So we were able to design new tuning keys. They're about a half a pound lighter than the tuning keys that were on Stingrays for 40 years. Using aluminum, we're able to keep the classic Stingray sound, but use a little different bridge pieces. So as a result, these things are averaging around eight pounds. So much has changed, starting with how you draw it, to how you mill it, to how you paint it. To me, there's no better piece of art than a, than a beautifully designed and, and built musical instrument. It wouldn't be possible to do that without that blend of beautiful craftsmen and well-executed technology. To see something that you visualized and you created with your family and created with this great team here in San Luis Obispo and then see it on the biggest stages in the world. I mean, that's pretty cool.